Canton UMC celebrates the Black History Month 2024. I am Reverend Kevin A. Carter, pastor of Canton U. With the guidance of Dr. Emma George, the Education Committee, this month, our congregation has explored the 2024 theme, African American in Arts. We have worshiped the Lord through preaching, singing, and congregational hymns have been informed. We have inspired to God be the glory for the wonderful things God has done and we will continue to do through the power of God. present the 2024 Expo and Bazaar participants. Mr. Jalen Gilbert is a graduate of the Mississippi School of the Arts in Brookhaven, Mississippi, and a theater school at DePaul University in Chicago, Illinois. He will be appearing in a new series produced by Tyler Perry Studios titled Perimeter on BET February 29th. Jalen will be performing a monologue from the play First Deep Breath. Written by Lee Edward Colston, Jalen will also play the self-created role of Tyree, who can't seem to live up to his father's expectations. Ms. Shirley Dowles Fleming, a visual artist who specializes in quilting and fashion design, is a native of Canton, Mississippi. Upon graduating from Canton High School in 1972, she earned a bachelor's degree from Tuskegee University in Tuskegee, Alabama. As a successful entrepreneur, Ms. Fleming has worked with many prestigious corporations and has owned and operated two successful businesses. Her latest business venture entails marketing and displaying her sought-after quilts and Afrocentric attire at the Canton Flea Market. Ms. Lisa McShepard Phillips, a prominent artist in the state of Mississippi, is employed as an art teacher at Canton High School in Canton, Mississippi. Age of three, she began drawing pictures of family members, DC comic characters such as Spider-Man and Wonder Woman. In addition to teaching art classes, she also spends time painting, drawing exhibits, paint, making signs for local events, and designing images for tattoos. Additionally, she has participated in art exhibits at the Mississippi Museum of Art, the Meridian Museum of Art, and the Municipal Art Gallery in Jackson, Mississippi. Ms. Glorstein Simpson is a textile artist who engages in creating quilts with quilts and designs such as the name of a college or university. Born in Madison County, Canton, Mississippi, she learned the skill by watching her aunt as she sewed during her high school years. Ms. Simpson is employed with Walmart in Canton, Mississippi, and she currently has some of her work on display at the Canton Public Library. Ms. Savannah Dawn White, a native of Hattiesburg, Mississippi, is a skilled saxophonist and visual artist. As the valedictorian of her high school class at North Forest High School, Savannah received an honor scholarship to attend the University of Mississippi in Oxford, Mississippi, 
She is the painter of the following landscape paintings. Midnight Mountain River, an oil painting, Emerald Forest, and Fall Sunset Over the Mountains. Mr. Charlie Lee Luckett, now deceased, was born in 1933 in Canton, Mississippi. Charlie Lee was skilled in the trades as an industrial arts and shops teacher. He taught and practiced his natural born talents of sculpturing, drawing, and creating exceptional ceramic and pottery artifacts and designs. His talents are still manifested through his son, the Reverend Herman Sutton, who's a sculptor. Mr. Herman Sutton is a native of Canton, Mississippi, who developed his love proficiency and skills for sculpturing and creating ceramic pottery artifacts as a young apprentice under the tutelage of his father, the late Charlie Lee Luckett. Miss May Frenchie Howard was an artistic individual, was a textile artist who created numerous quilts with designs depicting shapes of equal proportion over the span of her life of 92 years. Miss Emma L. Strickland, is a visual artist who served as a mentor and home economics teacher in the Canton Public School District from which she graduated in 1944. As a home economics teacher, Ms. Strickland shared her skills of garment creation and sewing with students in the Canton Public School District for over five decades, thereby impacting the lives of families throughout Canton and neighboring communities for generations to come. Throughout her career, Ms. Strickland created and designed countless numbers of garments and outfits for her five children and clients who desired tailored clothing to fit their personal needs. Because of her kind, patient, and gentle spirit, Ms. Strickland's life continues to serve as an inspiration and model for others. These students are modeling outfits that they made in Mrs. Emma Strickland's class. Ms. Ruth Gray is a retired registered nurse who graduated from the St. Anthony School of Nursing in Carroll, Iowa. As an artist's textile, Ms. Gray creates quilt designs depicting pictures, events, and dates that commemorates the general family events and history. As most of you know, my mother lived to be almost 109, and she said that the secret to her longevity was that he, she remained active. So when I retired, I wanted to find something to do that would keep me active and at the, at the same time give back to the community. And I got involved in quilting. I have made quilts for everybody in my family so that when I leave this world, they will have something to remember me by. And I always make sure I put a message on the back of each one of those quilts. And it simply says, this quilt was made with so much love each tiny stitch you see will be there when I'm gone, reminding you of me. Mrs. Gray inspired me to make this paper quilt. At the age of six, Arielle Bolden is our youngest exhibitor. She is a painter, pencil drawer, and sketch artist in addition to a paper quilt maker. She's displaying an original drawing titled God's Powerful Hands. No matter what color we are, God holds us all in his powerful hands. Ms. Miriam G. Bowden is a native of Gluckstadt, Mississippi. She does portrait painting, pencil drawing. Let's hear from her in her own words. I started uh, painting when I was 12 years old and uh, drawing. I think they're just as important. Drawing is just as important as painting. And of course, I majored in art. And later on, it was art in African American studies. My favorite colors are orange, blue, red, and yellow. Because I like to do gradient colors. If you go to Google and look for my name, Miriam G. Bowden, you can see some of my work. My goal in life for my artwork is to see how many, how many paintings of my artwork that I can get in everybody's houses. I just want to want to people to know my name and have my work in their homes. That's wonderful. William Hawkins began making bowls and vases in his ninth grade pottery class. He enjoys making his beautiful pottery and has be and began selling his wares at local craft shows. 
but what he loves most about his craft is his ministry of sharing with anyone he meets that we are the clay and God is the potter. Then Shayla Henderson Matthews is a portrait painter and canvas painter. Her favorite subjects are family members. She's currently working as a substitute teacher and a tutor and is a graduate of William Carey and University of Southern Mississippi. Mrs. Eloise Pace is a visual artist. Mr. Larry Griffin is a portrait artist and character drawer. Tobias LaFeel George was born in Mississippi and grew up in Wisconsin. He's a visual artist, portrait painter, cartoon artist, computer programmer, and adjunct instructor at the University of Wisconsin main campus in Harvard University. This is Diane Carter, First Lady of Canton United Methodist Church, and this is Jaquisha Lee, media artist. Mrs. Frederica O. Rivers is a pencil and portrait artist. Ms. Sharice McElroy is a decorator and jewelry designer. Dr. Latoya Mason Bolden is a renowned obstetric anesthesiologist and accomplished pianist and violinist. She believes that music has formed the backdrop of her life. She is also the first African-American Junior Miss in the state of Mississippi. She has a professional production company that produced this video. She and her family recently launched a YouTube channel called Climb Higher Network. This concludes our parade of participants. On behalf of Dr. Emma George, the Education Committee, Pastor Kevin A. Carter, and the entire Canton UMC congregation, Thank you for viewing. Time to take out your smartphones. Capture the QR code shown here and use it to access the gallery of photographs that have been taken over this entire Black History Month of our illustrious Canton UMC parishioners. To God be the glory.